And that's the point because I'm getting this theme a lot where people expect that everything is spelled out for them. And it's not. You know, you have to understand GCP and then you have to understand the context that you're in. Every study is going to be slightly different also. So you may right. need to revise your SOP sometimes. So people just and assume the FDA says, you know, this is like our commandments of what we must do. And it's they don't they don't have regulations to that level of detail. Right. Well, I mean, but GCP just in and of itself, good clinical practice. That stands what we do and what they do as physicians in standard of care. It's still clinical practice. You know, and, and the first rule is do no harm, do what's in the patient's best interest. And and that's a rule that we all have to follow. Oversight. That's what it boils down to. Like you have to under you have to truly under like to create a SOP, as it's one thing to use someone else's template. I know sites share templates. First thing they're gonna do is look for your SOP. Okay, if you're not right. following it because you use this template from another site. That's a finding, major finding. You're not site is not following their own SOPs. What else are you not following? Huge mistake. Okay. I so, wrote very generic, very broad scope SOPs for site operation. 